Hey all of you, welcome back to yet another project video. In this project, you're going to build your own decentralized exchange where you will allow user to swap the token and you will going to earn commission. So let me give you a quick walkthrough that what exactly you're going to develop and how the entire application would work. So this is the beautiful interface we have. We have our navigation bar. We have a beautiful emoji and here we have the correct to wallet button. And this is the place where we can do all the swap of the token. So right now you can see that I have this much with i'm doing all of this transaction on the fork network but you can do that exactly on the main net so you can see i have this much with token and this much usdt so if i want to swap from west to any other token i can simply click here and here i have multiple option which i can pick to swap my token so we have the popular one which is the usdt usdc and die if you want to go with a stable coin you can simply select a stable coin and you can pick any one if you want to go with the DeFi, you can pick anyone. If you want to go with the layer two, here you will find all the token which is available in the layer two. And here we have for the gaming, we have for the meme coin, and we have from other as well. You can simply display all the coin which you want to display. But at the moment, I'm allowing user to swap with this particular token. So for example, what I will do, I'm going to select the layer meme coin, and I'm going to select this C by U. Right now, you can see that I have zero C by U, and this much width I have. So I'm going to convert my width to C by U. So I'll give the quantity which I want to spend. So if I give one ETH, I'll get this much C by U. It's pretty big. So I'm going to simply reduce to, let's call this 0.5. And this much C by U I'll get in back. So let's perform the swap. If I do that, here you can see, here you will find all the instructions. So user wants to spend like 0.5 for the conversion, but we are charging one ETH as a commission. So that's all amount you can find. If I click on confirm, now this amount will go into transfer one with will be transferred to the admin which is account number four so let me click on confirm and if i come back here in the account number three now i'm performing the swap and i'm getting my c by u back if i click on this confirm and the transaction is in the process once the transaction will complete you will get the c by u back in your vault address so here i have successfully swapped the token from with to eth if i show you the admin account if i come back to account number four Go back here in the account number four to token and there you will find that I got one width because just now I have done the transaction. So I can simply switch back to any other account. If I go back to the account number five, I'll select that one. I have to clear my MetaMask history because I'm doing on the fork net. If I connect my wallet, you will see this much fund I have in account number five. I don't have any USDT. If I want to buy USDT, I can simply select and this much USDT will get back because we are using the live quarter contract which allows us to fetch the balance of the token so i'll click on this swap and i can easily be able to perform the swap and here i have to perform the transaction confirm confirm and confirm and the transaction is successful and you have successfully convert your wet to usdt so the logic i have followed in this particular dap that user can convert their wet to any other token so that's going to be the premium which user are going to use it for conversion. They can select any token which they want to do the conversion. If I want to go with the dice table coin, I can simply pick that. Right now I have zero fun in it. If I give my, let's say one ETH, I'll get, let's say this much die token I will get in back. You can see the conversion rate and you can simply perform the swap. Here you will find that we are charging two ETH because we are charging one as a commission, which we're going to convert and transfer to the admin. But you can simply modify that. The transaction in the process, once the transaction will complete, you will get your die and we got it. So every single thing is working fine. This is really powerful. You can literally provide multiple options, like all the token which you will find in the Uniswap exchange. That's all you can provide here. So here I've given this tab system to make it more beautiful, but you can customize and display other token as well. So this is what exactly we're going to develop from scratch. If I show you the responsiveness of this application, this is how it's going to look on a mobile device. Pretty beautiful. If I show you this portion, it looks pretty good. You can click here and here you will have the option which you can simply go with and you will find that what are the tokens are available to us. That's perfect. So I hope you have understood that what exactly we go to develop from scratch. Now let me give you a complete walkthrough of the code structure that how we have built this particular application. What are the customization you can do? All the resources are already provided to you for this particular application so you can simply download so you can simply come back to the blockchain coder in the source code section you can click on this recent project and here you will find all the resources which i have given click on this get now 
and here you will find the details so you can simply get the startup file there you will find all the details that what are the version what are the architecture we have been using in this particular project you can get the final source code you can get the final source code setup video and all the version which you can have a look so i can simply come back here and if you want to take the final source code you can take that now let me show you that what exactly you will get in the final source code and how you have to execute and do all the setup so once you will download the final source code you will get the zip file make sure to extract that zip file if you don't have any zip extractor simply download it and you will extract that zip file and you will get this particular folder in that you will have this two folder this is the complete source code of the project and this is the startup file which we're going to follow in the complete project this is the one which you have to open in your vs code so let me click on my vs code go back to open advanced unisop and this is the one which i am going to select click on open now let me give you a complete walkthrough of the entire folder and file structure the code structure we have used and what are the changes you have to do from your end if you want to test this application so this is the complete architecture we have designed in this particular project so the very first section we have in the component in which you will find the swap component and all the logic we have developed for performing the swap that's all you will find right up here then the next section we have is the token model there you will find all the logic we have developed for providing the model and selection of the token then we have the constant in that you will have the abis because we need the abi performing the swap as well as conversion of the e2 wrap token which we can charge as a commission and here we have different abi which is given then we have the addresses and that we are using the router of uniswap and contract factory to get the details and perform the swap and here i'm providing all the token so right now we are providing all of this token detail and that's what we are displaying here so if i come back here we are giving the name of the token this is the address so you have to pick the exact address of the token and you have to provide the decimal point the symbol and the name of the token so you can see this is the native token here we have the stablecoin usdt usdc dai and we have the binance usdt so all the token which i have performing the swap on the front end side that's what i have provided here so which you can simply do the explore so these are the tokens currently i'm providing but you can provide other token as well and you can simply provide the addresses and the name and you have to put the images so that's the addresses section we have now if i come back to the context here we are building the logic which allow us to communicate with the crypto wallet and connect with them so this is the ABA, ABA we have imported, the addresses, we have the ether package and the context, here we have the state variables and this is the function we have which allows us to connect with the wallet. So once the network is connected, we are simply getting the router contract which we can simply provide. So this is the current wallet function and here we have the change state and here we have the other feature which we are passing in our context management. Got it? Now we can simply come back to the pages. Go to the app.js here we have done the context management setup then we have the index page here we have built all the logic you can see this is all the state variables we have taken this is the function which allow us to simply get the input data this is the open model component and this is the entire function we have this will allow us to perform the swap this will allow us to perform the swap of the token and this is the entire code so you don't need to make any changes here just keep it as it is this is the page here this is the public and here we have keeping all the token which I'm displaying. So you can see all the token which I have for MetaMask, for PayPay coin. That's all I'm providing. So it will display the icon when the user will try to select the token. So you can keep all the token right up here and do the adjustment. Okay. So this is all the token images. This is the icon of our logo which I'm displaying. And this is the blockchain coder logo as you already know it. Then we have the CSS file in which we are doing the global configuration for the Telvin CSS because that's what I'm using in this particular project. And here we have the interesting thing. So we have this .env. This is the environment variable we have. We are using Acme API key for connecting with the blockchain of Ethereum. And we are using this particular address for receiving the commission. You can use any address. If I show you the environment variable for the local, here you will find that this is the exact addresses where we are receiving that. And you can define that how much commission you want to receive. So currently I'm charging one with one ETH for the commission and that's what I have provided here. But you can simply play around with this value. Got it? Now we have this environment variable. Here we have done all the setups for the hard configuration for connecting with the forking network because this is what we are utilizing. Yeah, and that's what you have to provide in your environment variable which we are utilizing right up here. You can also get the RPC URL from the Acmele when you will create your account. Anyway, I'm going to provide you in the final source code. You don't need to touch anything just keep it as it is perfect now if i come back to the nexus config file this is fine if i come back to the package json file you will find that here we have done the setup 
So this is the dev command which you're going to run when you're actually testing on the actual network. We have the build command, start command, link, and here we have the fork command which I'm running to test as a fork on the mainnet. So this is the command which I'm going to execute which is going to start the dev command as well as the fork command. So I can simply test or do all the transaction. We are using all of these packages. We are using Unisoft V2 Periperi -peri and Core. And we have the other packages as well. Here we are using the Telvin configuration, Hard Atomic Lab and Toolbox. That's all we have. Perfect. So you don't need to make any changes here. All the changes you have to do right up here in the config file environment variable. Everything is looking great. You don't need to make any changes. So that's the complete folder and file structure of the application. Now let's test this actually. So first thing we have to open up your terminal and we have to install these packages. So if I show you my node version at the moment, I'll say dash node. So this one is the latest node version. Sometimes it's created a problem because hardhead is not compatible with the latest node version. So you have to use a specific node version. So you have to use this one like NVM 18.17.1. If you use this particular node version, hardhead is very compatible because we have to test as a fork. So we have to use the compatible version of node which is going to interact with the hardhead node. Okay. So once you're done with that, hit enter. I have already here you will find all the details about the version, which you can simply read about it, that what other things are there. But I want to install and use this particular version. So I'm going to simply clear my terminal and I'm going to get, uh, let's call this use. This is going to install this particular version. And here you can see, I've successfully switched my node version to the latest one. Once I'm done with that, now I'm ready to install the packages. If I, sometime it will create a problem if you don't switch your node version because hard at package will get unpacked, but you don't want in that behavior. You want as a combined package. So I'll simply do installation in PMI and it's going to do the installation of the packages we have in the project. So it will take a little bit of time. Just wait. Finally, the installation is completed. You can simply ignore this vulnerability. It's just a warning because we are using hard at old version. So once you're done with the installation, now I can simply come back here and you can simply go back here. We're going to start on the fork network because there we can do the transaction of all the token because I don't have real fund in my test account. So I cannot do that. So I'm going to show you all that transaction on the fork network, but you can do that same on the main net, but make sure you should have fun. Once you're done with that, now what I can do is I'm going to simply start the nodes. We'll say npm run and we have the command called fork dev and hit enter. It's going to start the network. You can see the network is started. We are using this particular node, which allow us to communicate with the, and here it will give you 20 plus account, hard hat account, which you can use for testing, the swapping, that's all you can do. This is the RPC URL configuration, which you have to provide when you are testing as a fork network. Okay, so I'm going to use this particular account. So I'm going to simply copy this one, and that's the configuration I have to do in my MetaMask wallet. So I'll simply come back here. I can simply select my MetaMask wallet. I can go back to the Ethereum mainnet. Right now you can see I'm on the fork network. So if I click on this edit, come back here, here you will find two different RPC endpoints. So this is one is the actual mainnet and this is the actual is a test network. So if I simply remove this, it's removed. But I have to add this if I want to do the testing on the fork net. And I can simply click add. So once you have added successfully, you can see the fund is reflecting fine. If I come back here in the token, there you will find all the things are there. The fan balance, that's all you can notice. I'm going to simply clear my term, uh, account setting. So it's going to keep the history of the previous account. Now it looks good. Everything is working fine. Now, if I come back to the code, you will see every single thing is working fine. I can use any one of this account for testing that. So I can simply come back here and I'm going to simply copy this particular private key to import this particular account in my MetaMask. So I'll simply copy that one, come back here. And if I open this, here you will have an option. I can simply provide this one and click on import. This account has already imported. That's why it's throwing me this error. And this is the account number two. That's all account which you can see at the moment. This one and two is my actual account, but rest of the account is a hard hat account. So if I come back here, you can see I have this much fun in my hard hat account because our node is running. So I'm going to simply clear my MetaMask history. Perfect. Now we are ready to test our application on the fork net. So I'll simply click on this connect. So this much ETH I have in my wallet, which I can use to do the swap. So if I come back here and I can pick any one of this token, if I want to go with the USDT, I can simply select the amount which I want to spend and this much USDT I will get in back. So I can simply click on this swap. And now you can see we are charging two because I'm charging one as a commission. 
I'll simply say confirm, confirm, and click on confirm, confirm. Altogether, we have to complete four confirmation because in the first confirmation, we are charging the commission and transferring to the admin. Then we are performing the swap. And you can see we got back our USDT token. If I come back here, if I go back to the account number four, there we have received our commission. So if I come here, you can see it has one width because this is the commission we have charged now. If I show you one more time, if I go to account number five and try to perform the swap with this particular account, you will see we'll still receive the commission. So right now I have this much. Let me connect my wallet this much. Right now there is zero USDT, but I can simply spend my fund and I'll get this much. Click on this. It's going to make a call. Let's click on confirm. So we have done the transfer to the admin for the commission. Now we have to confirm the swap and the transaction is completed. If you come back here, you will go back to the account number four. You will receive the commission. So we have received two with you can do the changes in the commission. Looks perfect. If I want to perform the swap in any other token, I can do that. I can simply go back to the different die token. And the one thing I would suggest to you that you should not use the admin address for performing the swap if you are receiving the commission in that because sometimes it will fail because you are transferring the amount in the same account from your same wallet address. So that's key to the confusion. So I would suggest you use a different wallet address for performing the swap or receiving the commission. So let me create the, this and I can simply connect my wallet this much fund I have. I can simply switch back to any other token. So I'll go with the stable token. And that I have all of this. I have already tested that. Now I can come back to the uni. And if I spend one this much uni swap token, I will get in back. So I'll simply click on confirm. And let's click on this confirm. Confirm and confirm. And the swap is happening soon. The transaction is completed and we have received our uni swap. The moment you will reload the page, connect, you will have your fund available. So you can come back to the stable one. Okay, DeFi. And we have this. If you want to swap it back to the Aave, you can simply select. And if I give, let's say 0.5, let's see how many Aave token I will get. I will get 11. It's pretty expensive at the moment. I'll click on this. Confirm, confirm, confirm. And you are successfully performing the swap. And we have done that. And we have received Aave token. And we have spent one width. And we have given one width as a commission. So every single thing is looking fine. You can simply so here you can provide more token option in this particular place where user can simply come and perform the swap. If I want to swap from link, I can select that and I can give one and I can simply perform the swap. I'll get this much link token. Click on that. Perform the swap. Confirm. And I have done the transaction. The transaction is completed and you can see all the funds we are receiving as a commission. So this one is a very good strategy to make money. And right now we have on five with as a commission. So it looks perfect. So every single thing is looking great. So now I hope you guys have understood that what exactly you're going to develop and what are the feature we have included. This one is an excellent project to increase your understanding about DeFi protocol, decentralized exchange and how you can build your own exchange to make money. So this one is actual project which I have delivered for one of my clients. That's what I'm trying to build to show you that how you can build this kind of application. So make sure to download the startup file. And soon the project will come on the channel so you can simply follow it. And here I'm going to attach the complete video, this particular video. So you, if you take the final source code, you can simply watch this video to understand that what exactly you will get. Soon the project will come on the channel so you can start following. With that, I'm ending this video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.